for this project, I'm using, I took the tag off, but it's Caron Simply Soft. Um, but you can use any kind of four ply yarn that you have. And I'm going to be using a size I, five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And then you want to start out with a chain, a long chain of 70. And then without twisting your chain, follow it down. You want to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a larger ring. Slip stitch in it. Like that. Now you're going to chain one. And now I'm going to work across putting one single crochet in every stitch all the way around in every stitch of the chain just like this so one single crochet in every stitch all the way around your ring here until you get back to the beginning Okay, once you made it all the way around, you want to go ahead and slip stitch into that very first chain one. Like that. And what we're going to do is we're starting at this is in the bottom of the bag. And we'll sew the bottom up at the end. So now I'm going to do chain one. And I'm going to go back into that same stitch that I just slip stitch, stitched into and do a double crochet. Like that. And now I'm going to do a double crochet in the next three stitches. like that. So I did the very first one and then three more so for a total of four. Now what I'm going to do is yarn over and I'm going to come back into the very down here in the very first stitch the bottom of it and double crochet. And I'm going to yarn over and go into the bottom of the chain. into the bottom of the stitch right here. This is kind of awkward. But go into it and then yarn over here and pull your loop through. Draw up a long loop like that and then finish out your double crochet. Like that. And that creates that spike kind of. And now what I'm going to do is skip the next stitch and do four double crochets in a row again. So there's one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to reach over to this very first, underneath the very first um, double crochet and go into that stitch. So I'm going to yarn over and just go into it, the bottom of it, and pull my yarn from behind and draw up a long loop so you can just pull it. And then go ahead and finish out your double crochet. Like that. Now I'm going to skip the next stitch. And you want to make sure you're skipping the right stitch because you can kind of looks like maybe this would be the stitch that you skip. But actually it's this one because if you look close, there's a stitch in that one. 
So we want to skip the one that don't have a stitch in it. And go ahead and do four double crochets in a row. One. Two. Three. Four. And again, we're going to be working into the bottom of this first stitch right here. Yarn over and just go right into it. Come from behind and draw a loop and draw up a long, long loop and then double crochet. So that's what it's kind of looking like. Skip the next stitch that doesn't have anything in it and then do four double crochets in a row again. One, two, three, four, and then again we're going to spike over into the very first one, go in the bottom of it, draw a long loop, and then double crochet into that. So that's kind of what it's looking like. And that's the pattern that we're going to repeat all the way around. Okay, I made it all the way around. And I have one stitch left here at the end, so I'm just going to skip that one. And I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into my first double crochet, like that. And that's kind of what it looks like. Now what I'm just going to kind of repeat these rows, this row, it's, it's a really easy stitch. So I'm going to chain one, go back into the same stitch, and double crochet. And at the beginning, if you, instead of chaining one and going back and double crocheting, if you prefer to just chain three, that's the, that, that works too. So it's completely up to you. And now I'm going to do three more double crochets. That way I'll have a total of four. That's one, two, three, and I'm going to go back into this first one here, the bottom of it. And do a long double crochet like that. Then I'm going to skip this stitch here, the spike stitch. You can see it from the previous row. Skip it. And then four double crochets in a row. One, two, three, four. Go back and work my spike stitch right here in the bottom of the stitch. Draw up a long loop and then double crochet. Like that. Skip the next stitch that's empty. You can see that this one has a stitch in it. Sometimes it don't look like it, but the one you skip is always going to be this a long double crochet from the previous row. Come over here and I'll start working my four double crochets in a row. One, two, three, four, and now I'm going to work back into the first one here with my long spike, drop a long loop, double crochet like that and that's it that's all there is to it I'm just gonna keep working rows of this it's really easy once you it's just a little awkward at first but once you get the hang of it you should be able to work it up pretty fast One, oh. two three Four, all the way back to the first one, and do my long spike double crochet, just like that. 
So I'm just going to keep working rows of this and until I get my bag up a little taller. So I'll let you know how many rows I do. Okay, I went ahead and did 10 rows and then I just tied off. Now I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to flip it inside out so I can slip stitch the bottom together. And I'm just going to start in the corner at the bottom and go through a stitch on this side, a stitch on this side. You can slip stitch it together or single crochet it, doesn't really matter. Now I'm just going to chain one and I'm going to work my way across going in a stitch here and then a stitch on the other side and slip stitching it together here and then a stitch on the other side slip stitch going in the next stitch and then the next stitch on the other side and slip stitch and I'm going to do this all the way down and when I get to the end I will tie off and then flip it back right side out and then I'll start on the handles just like that okay I finished sewing it together and I flipped it back right side out now I'm going to start at the top here and you can start any stitch that you want I would just start here in the corner and go ahead and pull your yarn through and I'm going to start with a chain one and now I'm going to go back in that same stitch single crochet and now I'm just going to put one single crochet in every stitch around the top here like that all the way around okay I made it around again now all I'm gonna do is just continue to go around again by single crocheting in the very first single crochet that we did if you want to put a stitch marker here to remember where you started you can but now I'm going to go around again put in one single crochet in every stitch and I'm going to do this two more times for a total of three rows of one single crochet in every stitch so I'm going to go ahead and finish that and then I'll meet back up with you in just a second Okay, I made it around and I've done three rows of single crochet and I'm back to where my stitch marker would be. I'm going to do switch colors now. So, I'm just going to go into my next stitch like I'm going to do a single crochet and draw up a loop. And I'm going to drop that color and pull through my new color like that. And then I'm going to put a little knot in the back here so it doesn't come undone. Okay, so now I have a new color. And I'm going to do um, a row of single crochet decreases. I'm going to do one single crochet in each, each of the next four stitches so that was four single crochets in a row and then I'm going to do a single crochet decrease so I'm going to go into the next stitch drop a loop and then the next one after that drop a loop yarn over and go through all three now I'm going to do one single crochet in each of the next four stitches again and 
and then a single crochet decrease. Go into the next stitch, grab, drop a loop, and then go into the one after that, and drop a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. So that's a repeat, four single crochets in a row, and then a single crochet decrease. And you just want to repeat that all the way around. Just like that. I made it, I made it back around after that row of decreases. And now I'm just going to go around and put one single crochet in every stitch again. And I'm going to do that for a few more rows. For a few more rounds. Um, I'll let you know how many rounds of that that I do. One single crochet in every stitch now. We just did that one row of decreases and that's all we're going to do. So I'm going to keep going around and around and I'll let you know how many rows I do. Okay, I went ahead and did three more rows of single crochet after that uh, decrease row. And now I'm just going to slip stitch in my very first stitch there to close that round off. And I'm going to hide these tails. I'll do that a little bit later. Um, I'm going to mark off a place for the handles now. I got four stitch markers. So now I'm going to lay my bag out flat. And I'm going to count over seven stitches from the corner here. I'm going to put a stitch marker. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Seven stitches. <clears throat> stitch marker. And then I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Seven stitches. And then seven stitches on the back. And you can always do different handles if you want. It's completely up to you. Okay, so now I'm just going to start right here where my first stitch marker is. And I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to go back in the same stitch with my stitch marker and single crochet. Now I'm going to make a chain. for as long as I want my handles and I'm going to stretch it over here to this other stitch marker so it's really up to you how long you want them I'm going to do some shorter ones so I did a chain of 20 and now I'm just going to stretch it over and single crochet into the next stitch marker stitch like that and I can take out these two stitch markers now and now I'm just going to put one single crochet in every stitch until I get around to the other side where the stitch markers are around to the other side and I'm single crocheting still and I'm going to single crochet in the stitch that has the stitch marker and I'm going to do my chain of 20 again I'm going to stretch my chain over and single crochet in the next stitch with the stitch marker and now I got my two handles made there 
Now I'm just going to continue going around with one single crochet in every stitch. it around after putting one single crochet and I'm back to where I started my chain. Now what I'm going to do is just single crochet in every stitch of the chain. One single crochet in each stitch. And that's all it is now kind of is just going around putting one single crochet in every stitch of the chain and then back down one single crochet across your next chain single crochet in every stitch of the chain and you kind of just keep going around and around with rows of single crochet until you get your handles as thick as you want them to be and I'm going to keep going put in one single crochet in every stitch all the way down my chain and a single crochet back around to my next chain and then a single crochet in every stitch of this chain and then back around to my starting point back around and now I'm going to go around one more time putting one single crochet in every stitch of the handle both handles and all the way back around and, but if you want to, this is probably the only row, last row I'm going to do but if you want to do another row make your handles thicker that's fine or however many rows you want to do but I'm gonna go ahead and go around one more time and then I'm going to just tie off slip stitch in my first single crochet that I made and tie off and hide my tails okay for the bow I'm gonna start with a chain of 50 and I'm going to do a half double crochet in the third stitch from the hook and I'm gonna put one half double in every stitch of the chain just like this until I get to the end of my chain okay when I made it I made it to the end now I'm just going to chain two and turn and I'm going to go again putting one half double in every stitch just like this and then when I get to the end I'm going to tie off And then I'm going to make another piece just like this, only I'm going to start with the chain of 30 for that one. Okay, I got my pieces made. I got one piece where I started with a chain of 50, and I just did the two rows of double crochet, or half double crochet. One row, or one when I started of 30, with a chain of 30, and did two rows of half double. And then I did a little one where I started with a chain of 12. And then I did two rows of half double crochets. So what I'm going to do is take the long one first and I'm just going to take it and I'm going to get a, my yarn needle. You can use your tail or you can get a, another piece of yarn. It's up to you. And I'm going to fold it in half like this. And I'm going to sew it up. Just, it doesn't have to be real neat because this is going to be wrapped up. You're not going to see the stitches or anything. So. so just get it a few stitches in it to hold it. Like that. And then what I like to do is take my, my tail and then wrap it around tight. Try to make sure you got it about pretty close to being even on both sides and then I'll just sew my tail in and it doesn't, remember it doesn't have to be neat now I'm going to take my short piece 
and use my yarn needle again and sew it on here and that's what's going to cover up what we just did so I'm just going to take it and wrap it around like that and sew it on try to get in the center now I'm just going to put some stitches in this to hold this on and I'll probably go all the way through and back through again just to get it on there kind of tight so it doesn't come off now I'm going to take my piece that I started with a chain of 30 fold it kind of uneven like ribbon sew it on as the tail and then I'm just going to sew it on to the back so I get it all sewed up here okay that is it I went ahead and got my bow I sewed it on and I actually used a little hot glue on it just to hold the uh, these part this couple drops here to hold it down so the bow ain't flopping around everywhere make sure you use a low heat hot glue gun if you do that otherwise you can probably put stitches in it too to hold it and that's it that's all I'm gonna do I am probably gonna put probably gonna need a liner but I'll do that off camera because I I do have a tutorials on how to do that if you want to look on my channel you're sure to find them um, don't also don't forget to check out my other tutorials and if you make this you can always post a picture of it on my bag of day crochet but Facebook page I'll put a link to that below in the description box there's my bunny Greg sorry he always he's a house bunny he's littered trained and he always jumps up here and pesters me <laughs> I'm sorry well until next time you guys have a good day me and Greg say bye